Greetings, gentlemen and ladies. I am uh, the Old School Game Snob, a.k.a. AJ Dare, a.k.a. founder of Werewolven Games. And today we are going to be generating a voxel planet at run time. This is super duper easy when you know how. Uh, as for me, I just figured it out, and that's why I'm making a tutorial now so I don't forget in the future. What took me half a day to figure out will probably take you about three minutes, because look at that. That's all the code we need to do. I'll just pause there if you want to take a screenshot or whatever, but we'll, we'll go through it here in just a second, and I'll show you how this is done. Um, but yeah, as you can see here, that's my placeholder planet. I hit play. That's the voxel planet that generates around it. I just have the placeholder in place so I know where the hell the thing's going to actually go when I, <laughs> when I play. It's just you know, a little bit of setup. Anyway, go ahead and just create a new blueprint class, new blueprint actor class, a new uh, blueprint, blueprint class, just actor. That is fine. And then go ahead and open up that blueprint actor class. I'm going to do mine over here. Uh, and then what you're going to do is you're going to add a child actor. So go ahead and add your child actor. In your child actor settings, you will want to go and look for your child actor class over here on the right and look for voxel world. That's what you're going to do. You're going to make that your voxel world class, okay? So I've got mine right here already, so I'm just going to delete that one. But I've got mine right here already, just renamed it to world. I'm going to go ahead and drop that in. All right, so now I've got my voxel uh, world. What I'm going to do here first is uh, get child actor get child actor component there we go and then from here we're going to actually just I'm just gonna drag off my my uh, begin play here cast to voxel voxel world okay uh, from here you can plug in your child actor to the object and from here you can uh, well that's that's a large part of it honestly you can actually just go ahead here and uh, create world that's going to create the voxel world, but if you want to set up some of your configurations for your actual voxel world, here's mine right here on the left. You can see that over here under general, you can set some of the voxel settings. For example, uh, the generator I've got here is the is that just like the default planet, which is uh, example planet right there, voxel example planet. Um, voxel size, all of these things are just like how you would normally set your voxel configuration settings, right? Um, use camera if no invoker. Click that to true, because otherwise this won't work. So you got to have that on. Uh, that just means that the voxel world won't be generated if there's no voxel invoker somewhere. But the, if there's no voxel invoker, the camera will be used as, as an invoker. So basically, I think that means if the camera is looking at it, the voxel is invoked to generate, so to speak. Uh, okay, so we've got voxel world, blah blah blah, and that should actually do the trick. Uh, I believe that's all we need to do in this regard. Now, there's a couple other things that you might also want to do, and this is actually the part that took me a longer time to figure out uh, as Voxel World. My bad, just going to plug that into here. Yeah. So that should do the trick, like I say. Um, and uh, let me let me just test that real quick to make sure that's all tickety-boo. Yep, there we go. We got our Voxel Planet generating. And so that's how you generate a Voxel Planet. Now, if you want to get into setting some of the planet parameters if you don't want to just have those fixed like I say here we go we've got the generator right here and you can adjust things like frequency and noise seed and stuff like that all the different configurations for how your planet actually looks oh one other important thing uh, I think I I think yeah, I nearly forgot here is we need the we need the uh, materials uh, we need a voxel material uh, otherwise this probably won't work uh, I don't think this works without it so this one is sort of just the default planet colors uh, M underscore voxel material underscore colors. So you can just choose that to start out with. But that's where you set your materials. But okay, so now you've got your you know world created. Uh, but now you want to say say for example you want to adjust some of your parameters <clears throat> at runtime. So uh, for example, one of the things you might want to you know generate at runtime is uh, well some of the parameters. For example, in where is it here? Do -do 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 -do. We've got general. Here we go, general. You might want to set things like frequency, right? Like how bumpy the planet is, so to speak. All of these different things is a is a whole different tutorial. So hopefully you already know about all that stuff. Your your uh, your your random seed and all that sort of stuff, right? Um, so here's how you do that. And this part took me a while to figure out, but here's how you do it. Okay. So basically, what you're going to want to do is you're going to Drag off here and get generator. Uh, where is it? Get generator. Get voxel generator. Okay. 
And then from there, that's, you know, that's this is the part that actually took me like four hours to figure out is how do you get that freaking generator. Anyway, but uh, like I say, very easy when you know how. And then you can do something like uh, set generator parameter, right? Set generator parameter. And then say you want that generator parameter to be frequency, you literally just type in <clears throat> frequency to the unique name. <clears throat> you put in whatever the value is that you want it to be. So I've just got a float variable here, which is <clears throat> a frequency of two. <clears throat> I can plug that into value, and from there I'm just going to actually connect this to this, <clears throat> and that to that, and now the frequency is, is 2, which, which you just saw, but say I set that to 0, now the planet will be perfectly smooth when I generate it, right? So that's perfectly smooth planet. All right, so that's that's it. That's in a nut. That's it in a nutshell. Like I say, just a really easy tutorial on something that's uh, very lacking in documentation, easy to do when you know how. Oh, it occurs to me I nearly forgot. You also need to drag your blueprint, your actor blueprint, somewhere into into your scene, and wherever you drag that blueprint is where your planet's going to generate around. Uh, if you don't see your planet right away, if it doesn't seem to be working, you might be too far, too close zoomed in. You might not see anything. So just back her up, uh, look around. It should be there somewhere. Um, yeah. So, but you know, voxel worlds can generate pretty big, and depending on your zoom level, that could be a bit confusing. But yeah, just basically drag that uh, blueprint in. So, for example, I've got my planet gen here. I've got my voxel planet orbit. There we go. Just drop, in, drop another one right in there, and there you go. There you can see the other one generated just below. That creates some errors. It doesn't like there to be two in there. I haven't figured out how to work that out yet, but hey, one thing at a time. All right.